Welcome, welcome back if you're returning. Today is part one of my unfitted kitchen makeover. Now, most of you know this is a rental property. Um, the kitchen is very, not very user friendly. Um, so we were gonna make some changes. Um, this is my inspiration. Um, it's the Delft tile. Um, and the style originated in the Netherlands, but uh, it was, became very popular throughout Europe, especially England and France. And you can still find examples of these tiles in historic homes. Um, my particular favourite is the French style, the Blue Delph. So that was the placemats. I had a few placemats with this style and I thought that would be my kicking off point. That would be my inspiration for the whole kitchen. So this is the existing kitchen and it is useless. The original cabinets on the other side, these are all mine. This is stuff that I've bought from the last house um, and had to use in this location. And then obviously the little eating kitchen. Um, but um, so everything has to change. The issue that we have is space. There's a few issues, space, um, storage, and the way it's set up. So the cabinets were original to the house. The um, owners, uh, the original owner's parents had, had made these cabinets. So she wanted to keep them and that's fine. Um, the fridge is absolutely awful. It doesn't fit. You can see it's constantly open. Every time you close the main fridge door, the freezer part opens. It's, it's running all the time. So we have to, we've tried to level it. We've tried to move. It's just, it's, oh, it drives us nuts. So we decided to move it to the other part of the kitchen and kind of have an unfitted kitchen look and kind of move a few things around and see if we could create some more storage, more counter area and sort of, sort of start afresh with pieces that we're going to bring in and take with us when we move and then anything that's originally here obviously we're leaving um, but we're going to work around it and try and sort of adapt as we go. So I've made a bit of a plan of the kitchen as it is and this is why we knew we had to use this part of the little eating part I had to become part of the kitchen um, and the original idea was to move the fridge into this corner um, once we actually moved the fridge out we realized because it's such an old fridge it's just it wouldn't level so no matter where we put it it's always it's never going to fit so our first decision was to give him back his fridge and pick up one that we wanted. Um, we don't need an awfully large fridge, it's just the two of us. The kids have a fridge upstairs that they use for their stuff. Um, and that's something that we'll be working on in the future. But for us, we didn't need a massive fridge. So this is, how th this is what we've kind of come up with. So first things first, we cleared this area out. I knew I was going to be painting it. Um, now, so luckily the floors are done. We will need to do all the painting of the walls, um, the woodwork, the doors. There's quite a bit to be done. Um, so it's going to be done in like over two weeks because it's, uh, it's a lot to do. Uh, I did find these cabinets at the ReStore for $30 and if we have to leave them you know what that's fine it's 30 bucks and these are going to go over at the other side of the kitchen where i've taken my white cabinets and moved those it'll all make sense in a minute when you see what we've done so that's just the base for these new brown cabinets which kind of go with the ones that are existing in the house Now, in an ideal world, we would have moved this fridge out, but we couldn't get it out because we had to deliver it to the owners of the house. They're 
property um, and we couldn't get it out because of the snow and the rain so we had to work around it but in the meantime that's the new fridge um, it's very retro it's perfect for what we need it for and we figured resale or somebody will have this when we move um, so that is our first choice this cabinet obviously is going the other side of the kitchen would not have bought this under normal circumstances but this white cabinet is going in beside the new fridge so back to my inspiration you might be wondering where these are going to come into it I got some pictures I photoshopped a few things and resized them so that they were kitchen tile size had them printed off in multiple sheets and then cut them all out individually so I had you know for all intents and purposes some paper tiles um, and then I'm just going to decoupage them directly onto the wall um, in a pleasing tile pattern and then decoupage over them to protect them so I got I think um, you know like I got two or three sheets of three or four different patterns and then several sheets of blank ones you know so it's the same type of um, arrangement that you would if you were buying regular tiles for your walls anyway I did the little Herdwick sheep, which were the Beatrix Potter sheep from the Lake District. Little smiley sheep. I did foxes. I did rabbits. I did geese. I did ducks, uh, turkeys, uh, pigs and chickens, I think. So I started by painting all the walls in this part of the kitchen in the yellow that came from the living room. So I'm using up paints that I have already. I'm not trying not to spend any money here. Um, the tiles are all cut out and I've set them out on the countertop in a random fashion that they're going to go on the wall that way. And I'm just spacing the tiles to make sure that I've got um, my pattern goes on smoothly and that I have enough room for everything. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just marking out the tiles to see where everything's got to go. So this is my first line of tile and you can see um, you can it's to decoupage the wall and then put the tile onto the wall and then smooth it all out. You can see all these little bubbles, those will go away. You won't even notice those, that they, they all go. So uh, Mod Podge directly onto the wall and then positioning the paper tile in place. Now you don't even, you, because even though it's white paper, you don't see the line, the pencil line um, on the wall, nothing comes through. And once it's all done, it just looks like tile. So as you can see, this is what the backsplash looks like. Um, it's still, I've still got to frame around the window and have a bit of a, a mantle put up, but all in all, it looks really good. It's turned out really well. Now this, I did the cabinets quite by accident. I'd put two little bunnies too close together um, when I was putting them on the wall and decided, I stuck it to the cabinet and figured I'll just peel it on afterwards. Um, but once it was on there, I thought this looks really quite nice. And again, on Pinterest, I'd seen something similar where, with an old cabinet that had had the tiles put on it. So that's what I decided to do. So I gave the cabinets a really good clean and made sure that the surface was good to go. And then did the same type of thing again. I positioned all of my little um, paper tiles on the floor mod podge the cabinets and then placed all the little tiles in place
So once that was done I needed more colour on the wall so I had painted most of the wall in this yellow and I decided to add a, a chair rail actually it's more of a picture rail it was higher up um, and I decided to do it the same height as the fridge was hitting the wall and you can see I marked the wall where I wanted it so I've added a chair rail and down below I've painted it the navy blue which is the hail navy which is the same color that I had on my cabinets in my kitchen at the old house it's still the same color that I have on my cabinets now um, the ones that I bought with me and it's such a beautiful rich color I would have it everywhere so I decided to below the chair rail and the chair rail would be the hail navy and above I kept it the pretty fresh lemon color um, so that's the next step so, so I painted below the wall in the navy and this is the chair rail that I'm going to be using. Um, it's just a piece of trim. It's like a polystyrene. Um, it is uh, very lightweight, so I just glued this to the wall. I painted it the navy before it went up because it was going to be touching the lemon colour and I thought I'd rather it went on without being having to be painted. So once it was on, it was a nice clean line with no... Um, no having to go over it um, and chance ruining the yellow paint so this is my border um, my chair rail that's going on above the navy and below the yellow um, i did pick up a couple of little items um, thrifting this was two dollars and i wanted just things on the wall just to just for display um, this I decided to use an antique wax on because I didn't like the colour of the wood. Um, this was the colour of the wood that I'm going for. This was $2 as well. It needed a little bit of repair so I put a little nail in the front rail. Um, and that was the look that I was going for, that darker wood. So I got the antiquing wax and rubbed it into parts of this little uh, display unit but it wasn't dark enough so I used it on the back and liked the way that turned out and decided to paint the rest of it the same colour as the wall. I also picked up this little chicken for uh, a dollar and just gave that a quick coat of antique wax. So you can see the back still got the antique wax on it and I painted the sides and the front in the hail navy once it was dry i gave it a quick sanding just to give it a distressed look and put it up on the wall so this is my tea cabinet this of course came from the last house was on the other part of the kitchen i put some wheels on this little cabinet and put it over in front of the window um, and it will be staying there at least for now um, the uh, this part of the kitchen now is pretty well complete um, there'll be a couple of changes. I have to put skirting boards down, I have to paint the woodwork and I have to uh, put some trim around the window and add a little windowsill. Um, this is my picture of um, Van Gogh, which I absolutely love. And I think it's really nice, the dark, the contrast from the dark on these lemon walls. Same in the other corner. I had the two little display cabinets that I'd made over and then above the fridge I'd like I wanted something there but I didn't want to put anything on the fridge so that little gold shelf with the picture again finished that corner off this is where we keep the dog food and the dog treats on top of this cabinet uh, once I've finished painting the walls and the kitchen kitchen's complete I will actually put the dog food down between the two cabinets um, and this windowsill is going to be I'm trying to I'm going to get more fl um, plants I think for the summertime because it's a real little hot spot in there and they do very well so I'm going to try again with the plants because I don't do terribly well with them um, again it's more of a, a French country feel to this part of the kitchen especially with the tiles and the toile curtains but um, it's it's given me the look that I'm going for it's definitely that unfitted kitchen look which is very European and very sort of French farmhouse 
so all in all i'm really happy with how this has turned out again this is not finished yet um, once the rest of the kitchen is done i might maybe moving a few things here and there but for the most part this is pretty well what i had in my mind's eye and hopefully how it's going to stay um, for the look that i was going for Um, I might put a valance above this curtain. I had to spray the black rod white. I could not find a white curtain rod anywhere. And because the weather had been so cool, um, it took a little bit of time to dry. It was still a little tacky. So I'm going to try and replace that with a white rod. Either that or I will give it another spray. Um, I still have to silicone the back of the cabinets, but... Um, I think in the one corner there's going to be a basket with all the fresh fruits and veggies that we have um, but all in all those tiles turned out really well you wouldn't I mean yes they're paper but from a distance you wouldn't know So the aim of this was to obviously give us more space, more countertop, more cupboard space, which straight away we've done. We've got five more cabinets from where we've swapped out these white cabinets and put the new, the new old cabinets that I've found. Um, we've got more counter space. We've got a proper prep area beside the stove, but you will see this all next week, hopefully, in the finished video um, we're going to start work on the other parts of the kitchen well as as i'm as i speak i'm working on that now uh, painting countertops um, and doing it all on a very very tight budget hopefully spending as little cash as possible and using items that wouldn't necessarily be used in a kitchen under normal circumstances but hopefully um, it'll all add to a better kitchen experience and give me that unfitted kitchen look that I'm looking for. <laughs> 